and his head is pounding worse than after 10 whiskey chasers. From everything we can tell, it should go away in a day or two. How's Emily doing? Confused. Overwhelmed. What's she know exactly? Just the broad strokes, same as everyone else. Edge was giving people powers, messing with their minds to control them. Nothing about alien consciousness? DOD felt that would be better kept off the record. Still a lot to process. And people in this town are going to want answers. Yeah, at which point, <clears throat> they're going to be looking for somebody to blame. And uh, pretty sure I'm going to be at the top of that list. Your heart was in the right place, babe. Heart's not the problem. It's just a stubborn head of mine refusing to listen. I should have never gone to see Edge behind your back. Speaking of Edge, any idea where he went? Superman and the DOD are looking for him. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. It's like a war zone downtown with all of the military patrolling. It's very end of days. I think Grandpa said they're going to be leaving soon. They just have to check in with everybody that was mind swapped or whatever. My dad has his good side and his not so good side, but seeing him become a whole different person was. It must have been strange. Super weird. I just instantly assumed the worst about him, even though my mom told me that it wasn't all his fault. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell when parents are telling you the truth. It's probably the same for them, you know? With us, it seems like families are always lying to each other, which is pretty messed up. So thank you for being honest with me about everything. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just, I'm sorry. It was, uh, sorry it was such a traumatic experience. At least it was the truth. Is it cool if I have a moment alone with Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh. Sarah, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't tell you everything that was happening. John even wanted me to tell you. <laughs> and I, I said no, I was really scared. I... I don't want to be just friends anymore. Me neither. <laughs> uh, Lois. Hold, hold up just a, just a second. Um, listen, I just, I wanted to apologize to you. Yeah, for the way I've treated you this whole time. It's okay, Kyle. No, no, it's not. Look, I was wrong about, uh, about damn near everything, but, um, mostly I was wrong about you. You're good people, Lois. And I'm real happy you're part of this town. Thank you. <laughs> 